Um, uh, Gordon, uh, did you uh, set this up? With, uh, uh, he's still downstairs. Uh, oh, so, uh, yeah, okay. 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 Uh, let me thank him and everybody else uh, who helped uh, for organizing this, uh, for me to come here to share the, uh, some information about practical method with everybody. And I assume most of you are from the university club. And uh, I met some of you already last year. So this is going to be a very brief introduction to what uh, practical method is about. And I have a few people who already took some classes. You can help me out. And uh, you can also ask me questions anytime you want to, because uh, otherwise you might uh, forget later on. So the practical method that came from a person called Hong Jun Sheng. I, I should uh, buy this one. Uh, is it like uh, you can fold it up or something? Paul. Well, this is a high-tech country <laughs> and university. I need you guys to design something like this here. I can put on my back, like a back, backpack at the bottom. I'll just take it out. The practical method has to do with this chair. And uh, because it requires yin-yang separation. And uh, in the traditional way, it sounded very mysterious. But actually, it's just here. It means our body cannot separate. I'm just talking because later on I'll do this again. And you guys can compare whether I remember everything correctly. The, uh, one of the things Hong talked about, my teacher Hong Jun Sheng talked about. So he had eight points that he learned from Chen Fa Ke that we call special characteristics. Usually it means things that other people ignore. Now it's not good or bad, it's like the, the body of the knowledge of practical method of Tai Chi Chuan and the Chen Tai Chi is very, very big. It's like when you go to university, you get a PhD, but actually that's a very, very small amount of knowledge. Because in any university, you've got so many departments. Science and technology has brought us to a very, very vast place of information. So anything we do is very, very small. So, but Tai Chi originally was very, very big. And any person usually only is good with one or two things. So Hong had a couple of, or a few things that are unique. So it's not special. Unique means other people just ignored. And he liked them. So one of them is the revolution and the rotation. So rotation is a self move, like in this case here. So I'm doing all sorts of things. I can do this. These are all rotations, meaning there is no displacement of space. I'm still here. So if you're over there, I can't hurt you because this is very far. So while doing this here, if somebody is pushing this chair towards you and I punch, so there are two actions combined. And when the two are combined, there is a special effect. And the special effect is because of the fact that we cannot combine actions in our body. So to speak, that we are not very good dancers. So if you're a good dancer, your body can do sophisticated things. And if you're a good magician, who does some magic? So if you're a good magician, the sleight of hand is that human attention can, your brain, very few people can really truly multitask. And when I do something like this, either you look at it or you don't. If you look at it, your resources come here. And when I do something else, you can't see it. And you know that when we do magic, you know I'm doing something else. But you can't see it because it's inevitable. I'm doing something that causes you to look at it. And so if somebody can combine two things into one, that person can actually become a lethal weapon. Oh, that's a, uh, isn't that Mel Gibson? <laughs> Where is he from? Uh, no, oh, he's not. Uh, Russell Crowe, uh, Kirk, uh, Russell, Russell Crowe? Crow, yeah. He's from here. Where is Mel Gibson from? He, he, was, he was from here. Yeah, he was, he from was here. also from here? We got rid of him, though. Rather oh. took him off my hands. Oh, OK. <laughs> OK, somebody got rid of him. Yeah. So you actually have, you will have special powers. The special power is because we normally cannot do that. So the practical method in all Chinese martial arts, 
are designed or were designed in a way that you bring something into the human that we originally did not have. So some common, but so for both internal and external, we try the same. So in external, for example, there are people who try to imitate tigers. Why? Because we don't behave like tigers. And then if you can move like a tiger, normal people cannot deal with you. And Tai Chi happened to have a number of characteristics. So one of them is like this chair here. So if we move, we always have this ability. You see here? So when we punch, the whole body moves. And when we move, we usually forget to punch. So the ability to just simply, like you're moving like this, and this is here, it's very difficult. So when we do cloud, cloud hands here, normal people will go like this. You see the knee, the waist, the chest, elbow, head, hands, they all move together. So if you can do this, can you see this no move, the knee? This has a little bit of a turn. This has a little bit of a turn this way. This stays here. You see this move here? And this one does this. Can you see this here? And it's very unusual. It's not like this here. So what Tai Chi does is that when your body is, we say, dissected, each part of your body does something unique. You're, or at the same time, you become a, a beehive. You become an ant colony. Each one is nothing. But they all know exactly what to do. Together, they can move large objects. Our body is all, no, this is a human movement. And ants don't do that. So what we call is called classification and the job designation. So the Tai Chi requires that you have to reassign what your body does, each body part. And ancient people, I do not know how and why, it's a mystery, and they stumbled upon a method to do it in a way it's called Tai Chi. And the beginning of it is called the yin yang separation. Meaning, hello? Okay, come on in, and uh, some space is there. <sighs> Thanks to Janet. So, are there some chairs here? Are there still a few more coming? Uh -huh. Oh, and there are more chairs. So if we look at this chair here, this chair has more functions than a piece of wood. More functions than, let's say, just the floor. And the reason is because we extracted the steel from rocks, from ore. And it took a long process, a lot of human effort over the years. Now we made it like this. And we can also make it into different shapes. And we can also make it into the, this here. So because of that, we reformat, and now it has this function. We can also make a different mold and make a, um, what do you call it, lazy, lazy boy. And then you can stretch out and go like this and drink some um, beer. So you can reshape it. And now that is called the yin-yang separation. Otherwise, you just get a piece of rock, and you can only find a piece that you like, your height, and you can sit on it. But if you can extract the mi minerals in it, then you can make things differently. So what we do is that we got a body here, and just one piece. Now we start training like this here. Not like this. Now you see the difference? This is normal human behavior. This is no move, move. So now movement, no move. Uh, or change it, no move, and move, no move. And so we dissect the body into many, many pieces and reformat the pieces into different materials, different structures according to what we want. We want to be loose, we go like this. We want to be strong, they're like this here. We want to be strong here, it's like this here. We want to be strong here, it's like this here. 
And all of these are in every martial art. But Tai Chi talks about specifically going back to the drawing board and it's like doing yoga, or we call it foundations, and exercise every part so that that part, when it's called upon, will do whatever the requirement is. So it's even like in external, when I was young, I did Shaolin. If you don't stretch your body, you can't kick. And when you're fighting, there's a good opportunity to get him here. But my leg can't go up there. So it's the same idea. But Tai Chi does, uh, does more and it spends a lot of time preparing the body. And so it's the same as a, a woodblock building. So you can put them down into pieces. You can build different houses, different shapes. And so the combination and the recombination and uh, that type of stuff. So here, and uh, I think we can start now, right? There are still a few people, uh, Janet? No, I think that's it. Yeah, okay. So let's start again. Welcome to Practical Method. And uh, Practical Method uh, was created as a sub-branch of Chen style Tai Chi Chuan. And it was created by my teacher, Hong Junsheng. And Hong Junsheng uh, went to Beijing, uh, was in Beijing uh, at an early age. Uh, he was six years old when he went to Beijing. And uh, uh, went to Beijing University and studied Chinese language. And then he fell ill. And like... <laughs> <音>我喝点吃吧。那菜你不知道。好，怎么知道是你尝了？你看。<音><音><音><音><音><音><音>